Last episode on Monster Makeover, our contestants tried their hand at making ripe zombies inspired by the game Left for Dead. Today we find out whose brain gets eaten and who gets a shot at the grand prize of an Xbox 360 bundle, Zune music player, and a job in the industry. Xbox is back at the Cinema Makeup School here in Los Angeles, California. What's up, everybody? I'm Natalie Souza. And what's up, everybody? I'm Nelson Rodriguez, and I'm holding on to a dream. Yes, the one I with have. Lorenzo Lamas. No, no, a different dream where I get reanimated after I die, and I come back as a disgusting necromorph so that I can get vengeance on all of my friends and my coworkers and the guy at the uh, post office. Awesome, that sounds like a sweet dream. Yeah, our contestants are probably dreaming about not getting sent home today. The last time we saw them, they were rotting in uh, anticipation. I don't know if you can do that. Yeah, I think uh, it's possible. Maybe. It looks like everybody uh, sitting in the chairs was left for dead. Tara, but I love the balance that you have throughout. The boils that you did were out of kit. You brought up, you brought a, uh, a mold, you made them uh, at the moment. Sean, I, I love what you did. Um, I particularly like the way you positioned the scar on, on uh, your model's left side. Marta? Uh, obviously, I think the tissue was a huge uh, encounter to do, and it just took you a longer time, so you had to catch up really quick with the color on the end. Lee Marie, I love the different colorations that you did. It almost becomes a pretty abstract painting. Steve, great yellow pustules. Um, I think the color maybe could have been a little, little toned down. And then we come to the final moment, and we're going to select the three. Peter, I'm gonna ask you to stand, and Trevor, I'm gonna ask you to stand, and Kathy, I'm gonna ask you to stand. These are our winners. Today we are attacked by necromorphs from dead space. Some consider this the scariest game of 2008. It is heavily inspired by some classic sci-fi horror films. These guys ooze and gurgle and pretty much look like they want to tear your face off and that's not a good thing. The game is fast paced and probably one of the grossest, most intense things that I've seen all month outside of Hollywood Boulevard. You know, I have no idea who the competition is and it's probably a good thing. I'm just the chosen one, what can I tell you? It's my desire, it's my passion. I live, breathe, bleed, sleep it. Competition, you know, it's, it's always a little nerve-wracking. I think this is a good chance to me, and also I can show my skill. Hopefully I can just keep my nerves down and focus on what I need to do. My name is Simpat Bashirin, I'm from Burbank, California. My name is Robert Lindsay. And I'm uh, originally from Germany, I grew up there. My name is Hyunwoo Ha, I'm from South Korea. My name is Liz, and I am from Orange County. I'm Jordan Curtin, and I'm from Palmdale, California. My name is Morgan Muta, and I'm originally from Portland, Oregon. Each contestant is going to be given two and a half hours and about $100 worth of makeup supplies so that they can recreate the extremely ultra intense effects in this game. So they can win the competition. And not lose it. Not lose it. To get your hands on the good stuff or your own Xbox 360 prize pack, tune in to the end of the episode for more information. We're going to put all kinds of crap in your face today. All right, makeup artists, we'll look forward to seeing your work. Let's get started. Makeup Artist Magazine is the voice of the professional makeup industry. We're read in 50 countries around the world. We definitely try to unite the craft of makeup. Prior to publishing the magazine, I was a motion picture makeup artist. Uh, and still am, still carry a case from time to time. The latest Indiana Jones movie was the last project I did.
one makeup artist who used the forehead piece and then he made the nose into some kind of speaking thing that's growing out of this guy's face. Hey, you know what? I call that creativity. They're getting lost a little bit in the details, doing all these little things when there's still some big things that need to be done. And they're getting to that scrambling point now. Are you going to pull it all together? Or is it going to end up looking like something that was work in progress at the end? I think I like Liz's and Simpat's in the morphing uh, area. Um, I think uh, Morgan and Jordan and Han are still being safe. So they still have around 20 minutes or so, so we'll see how much they punch it out of the box. Hopefully what they will take away from this are some very important lessons that allow them, to, when they're out there in the field working, to be able to use the experience they have today. Even if they don't win, that'll help them to win tomorrow. Okay, Makeup Artists, Episode 5, please put your brushes down or whatever goo you have in your hand. This is more of like what I like to do. I love blood and I love veins and I love like, this is like awesome for me. What I had sketched up last night isn't this. I did a lot out of the box that are not, uh, you know, additional things. I don't have enough time. Being prepared for whatever face, whatever appliance. She morphed and her teeth came out, you know, just like in the video game. I would like to say that if I was doing a film tomorrow and I had appliances and I had uh, ghoul type looking situations, I would want all six of you with me. But now we have to get down to just two. The first makeup artist, Han. I love the coloring, okay? Um, I think maybe it could have been a little stronger. I liked it, it was fun. And you had a great model who was obviously selling it well for you. Jordan. Um... I think you had some really nice blending on there. Uh, yours is definitely the pinkest uh, appliance up there. Morgan, okay, this was really well done. It has uh, such a great look on the mouth, what you did with the mouth and in protruding there, the eyes very deep. Robert, I really liked your approach design. It, it, uh, I, shot, I saw a lot of creativity, a lot of innovation. Your use of the nose and the construction build up what you did with cotton. I thought that was genius. Liz worked really good. Nice, really nice job, and I love the sort of bit off into the nose there. Simpat, uh, I really liked what you did with the eye. I thought the eye was cool. That was one of the best elements that you had in there. We're going to end up um, eliminating four and moving on with two. So to do that, we're going to start by... I know you want to know. I, I want to know who wins. We who all want to know. Who the judges kick off. You're going to have to find out next time. Go to xbox.com slash monster makeover to watch previous episodes or to just sit there and wait for the new episode to load or to look for the entry form and the official rules for the sweepstakes for the of Xbox course. 360 bundle. Of course, tune in next time to check out who's closer to the monster makeover.